More about this crisis is Dr. Emanuele Otolanghi. He's a senior fellow for the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Thank you so much, Doctor, for being with us. It's a pleasure. Thank uh, you. I know you have done extensive work on issues surrounding Iran and that regime's political repression and terrorism activities. What was your reaction to John Kerry's comments today? Well, I think the Secretary is uh, in a very difficult position. He has been at the forefront of making the argument for urgent and decisive action to punish the Syrian regime for this uh, latest atrocity. Uh, and now he finds himself with, uh, with a domestic, uh, long, uh, convoluted, and perhaps uh, treacherous political process uh, to face before action can be taken. There is an international community. There is a conflict on the ground. Nine days, ten days until Congress uh, makes a decision are a long time in mm -hmm. politics and international politics as well. So it's, it's very open. And how does that timing present itself for the Syrians? Does that uh, show of the cards em embolden them? Or does it potentially, the threat, stop these atrocious attacks against their own people? You know, the combined uh, uh, British Parliament's uh, uh, vote against the Prime Minister uh, in London uh, last Thursday and now the surprise decision by the president to actually stop the process uh, uh, of, uh, of punishing the regime for its actions uh, and uh, turning to Congress uh, uh, has certainly sent a message in the region. Now, whether the intention was to make it so is besides the point. It is being read on the ground as a clear sign that America has no stomach for, for this kind of action, mm. and it is emboldening the regime. The problem that we're facing today is that, rightly or wrongly, um, the world is looking increasingly to America as the only country that can stand up for its values and for you know, the defense of these values abroad and that has the means to protect these principles. Mm -hmm. and ultimately, though, let me ask you, what do you believe a strike could accomplish? It depends from the nature of the strike, of course. Uh, what is the scope of the mission? If uh, the administration wants to simply make a point that because it set a red line and that red line was crossed, it somehow has to make a symbolic action uh, not to be accused of, of being a bystander, uh, that is a rather pointless uh, exercise. I think that if a military action could somehow tilt the balance of forces on the ground in a decisive action against the regime, then that is an action which should be definitely uh, supported. And incidentally, it could be done in a way that does not require American troops on the ground. As an expert on the crisis in Syria, on this part of the world, uh, how do you believe the U.S. should proceed? I think that the U.S. should, uh, first of all, uh, have a healthy debate. I welcome this decision. It is important that in a democracy, uh, such fateful policy decisions are aired in public and debated. But at the end of the debate, I do sincerely hope that America stands for its principles and for the reasons that people look up to America abroad. America stands for freedom, and if America is the only country that stands for freedom, so much uh, the better that America takes action, because if America doesn't, nobody will. The values of civilizations are at stake after the atrocity that was committed by the Syrian regime. Uh, last week, and it seems that only America now is willing to actually take action to defend these values. So let's hope that America does so. Well, we will see what happens in the coming week. Dr. Emanuele Otolanghi, Senior Fellow at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you.